if you have IntelliJ Ultimate Edition, I don't think it's in the community, you can actually do all that Spring Initializer from within the IntelliJ tool itself. So you just click a new project, and then from there, let's pull it across a bit, we say uh, I want to use the Spring Initializer. So it's literally this whole Spring Initializer built into IntelliJ. And then I can choose the SDK, so what Java version. I'm going to use 15 um, in this case. Um, we did use 11 in the other one, but I'm use 15 because that's what I've got installed. And then what we need to do is we can choose the URL. We're going to keep it at the default as startspring.io. Then we're going to go next, and then it's exactly the same items again. So I can call this one com your tech guys, and then we're going to call it the same. So it's to do dash list. We're going to say it keeps a Maven project. We're going to keep it as uh, the language of Java. And the package of type jar. We're going to at this point choose the Java version 11. The previous one was the version I had installed on my machine. Um, so we're going to keep it, keep it a Java version 11. And I'm going to leave everything else as default. Click next. And then, like before, we want to choose uh, Spring Web. And then next. And then the place I'm going to save it is. I'm going to put it into the same place as the previous one. So I'm going to it, save it to D, Development, Spring Boot, the same folder, click Finish, and then down here we can see that the project's been created. Although, unlike where we did it from the initializer and it zipped it up, and then there was a couple of folders within the zip. This actually creates it all sort of in that folder. So if I'd have wanted to create its own folder, then I would have done that. But as you can see, exactly the same again. The source has been created exactly the same, and so has the test. So moving forward, we're going to be using the IntelliJ editor and this version. But note that you can create the project from either the web page direct and load it into something like code or if you have IntelliJ Ultimate then you can do it all within IntelliJ.